Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Steve Quayle. We're seeing over 150,000, mainly Christians, exterminated by al-Qaeda forces out of Saudi Arabia, openly being armed by Obama. That comes out. So we did see a victory in the real media. Um, I'm not saying Putin's a great guy, but the globalists are trying to start a war with him. Again, it's not America, it's the globalists. Where do you see all that going, Steve Quayle? Well, first of all, Alex, they coined a term a number of years ago that I think is really important. We're always used to the term double cross, but we're going to see triple crosses and quadruple crosses. What Vladimir Putin has is basically, obviously, uh, he's a pretty smart guy. He's determined. He has the memory. We destroyed the Russian ruble, and now he is turning our own uh, efforts against the former Soviet Union, the obviously the Republic of Russia now, or whatever. He's turning those same tactics against us. But what he's fighting for, he's at least standing up for Russian Orthodox Christianity. Look, the tree is known by the fruit it bears. When you've got, when you've got. Uh, factions and warring factions in Syria beheading Christians when you've got people uh, eviscerating Christians, and I'm, I'm, just, I'm making it a point, when you've got little girls with their hearts torn out, literally, when you've got people with their heads and pails being eaten, and by the way, Kuru, K-U-R-U, has broken out in Syria. That's uh, the Kreutzfeldt Jakob, or Jacob disease. That's the same thing that pretty much wiped out the headhunters in New Guinea. I got to tell you, Alex, someone said, do, and I think it was uh, George Norrie the other night, he said, well, how do you feel to be proven right? And I said, it's bittersweet, because I know where it goes from here. And let's get into the, the situation with Russia. It's not lost on the Illuminati and the globalists. They try and, and back all sides in any war. Remember the famous statement, we make more in one day of war than a year of peace? We're seeing that. But when the, here's, I think, a trump card that's being played now that should show everyone where the United States stands in relationship to what's really going on in the Middle East. We gave our tow uh, anti-tank uh, missiles to a, a, the group of the Syrian rebels. Those things will not stay in uh, Syria. Those things are ultimately designed to be used against the Israeli army, armor. The whole peace talk, isn't it amazing? That somehow Crimea is not an important aspect right now, and, and Ukraine has kind of been put on the back uh, burner with what I call Mickey Mouse sanctions. By the way, I think the, the stupidest thing that uh, the Western Europe can do is try and enforce or even ask for sanctions against the Soviet Union. These people don't, don't even know where their bread is buttered, but they don't have any clue of where their energy comes from. So it's about resources, and as we have encircled in the times past trying to... Uh, move in any ballistic missile shields into Eastern Europe or former Eastern Europe, etc. The bottom line is, is that now we've got overflights, we've got all... This thing is World War III. Now, here's what people don't understand, Alec. This is not a stage play. The globalists will initiate World War III, all the bunkers, underground preparations, all the things we've been talking about for the past decade or two. They're in place. They believe that in order for their world leader... Lucifer, Satan, to come on the scene, and I submit that the same person, even the Illuminists, that the, the, all their videos are across the Internet and that all the, uh, the big uh, Oscar ceremonies and everybody talking about the devil. They're doing speaking. this publicly, trying to bring it in. Oh, absolutely. So they're, they're getting ready. They need a blood sacrifice. Just like your commercial when you're talking about the dead babies, the aborted babies, what a sick, bloody society. A general who lives in Austin, Texas, active duty, special ops that, Steve, they want to change the genetic makeup of human beings to revert them to cannibalism. Alex, when that comes from a four-star general who's active in spec ops, and special operations, I pay attention. Well, the, the, the Al-Qaeda rebels are engaging in cannibalism and videotaping, and it's just unbelievable. And Putin's talked about that. It just gets more and more insane. I want to hear where you think this whole thing with Russia is going. Uh, what do you think is going to end up happening with Obama, uh, the, the supposed nuke he's worried about hitting Manhattan, 
and so much more. Stay with us. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. The Alex Jones Show. Because there is a war on for your mind. The name of the game is artificial scarcity that the globalists exempt themselves from. Regulations that shut down their competition. McDonald's gets a waiver to not have to get Obamacare. It can keep their employees at 40 hours a week. Everybody else has to go to 29. Federal parks get waivers. But then the local park that has a swimming pool, they have to cut all their lifeguards back to 20 hours a week, like uh, has happened at Barton Springs. They cut them to 20 just to, quote, be safe and not get too many hours under Obamacare. And I literally, when, I, when this hit last year, I was still swimming even in the fall over there, laps a few times a week. I probably had six, seven of the lifeguards, including managers, come over and go, I like your show, but I thought you were lying. You know, I'm a Democrat. And. I really thought that I wouldn't get my hours cut, but it's true. I said, well, they're going to take your bank account, too. They're not going to let you sign up for it. They're going to increase the price of the insurance. It's meant to wreck the country. And I mean, this is a criminal takeover. That's not rhetoric. 
I want to get into your new book, uh, dealing with the GMO. I mean, you were, wrote about this 15, 16, 70, I guess in the mid-90s, 96. I want to talk about the old books you wrote because those are evergreen. And I would read it and go, oh, really, I want to destroy the genetic makeup. Well, now Ray Kurzweil and all of them say, we're just going to change your makeup whether you like it or not. And then you'll have to have the system to live. They're artificially making it where it'll be impossible to have kids without them going in and having designer babies. This is how they play God. This is how they destroy the old system to make you accept the new. This is how they infect all the pension funds with fraudulent derivatives so you want to stay in the system. I mean, it really is a multi-dimensional, fourth, fifth dimensional level of chess. It's an evil, wicked logic. And once you really study how the enemy operates and read their own writings, you go, this is demonically inspired. I mean, even if you don't believe in a physical devil, which I do, all the ancients knew this stuff was going on. The point is an evil force, a good force, they literally just want to kill and hurt people. They literally just want to ruin nice things. They literally want us unhealthy. Look at the wages of the New World Order. It's death, highest cancer rates, highest breakup rates, highest depression rates, highest obesity rates, highest diabetes rates. They're destroying us, Steve Quayle. And Alex Jones here, if he just joined us. And so, Steve, the Obamacare, uh, all of it, the... the the regulations to shut down all the coal power plants not owned, not owned by General Electric when sh that are totally clean. But China can build three dirty ones a week. And Mexico's building them everywhere because they're shutting down the Texas plants. I mean, they are shutting us off right now. The power prices have doubled in six years. They are annihilating America right now. And I got to deal with a bunch of BLM guys strutting around their uniforms like they're God while their whole future is being destroyed. While their kids are being shot up with deadly vaccines, I bet I bet a third of those BLM guys have got kids that are ill. And because I run into people all the time that finally wake up because their uh, FBI agent I was talking to about a year ago said, yeah, I thought you were full of it till our 18 month old daughter got the third round of shots and now she doesn't talk. Yeah, you're going to find out, folks, they're going to kill you and nobody's going to be there to help you. I'm, I'm ranting, Steve. It's just it's all real. It's happening. It's happening. Uh, Obamacare, Russia, all of it. Lennon, let's get into your new book. Well, Alex, my new book, Xenogenesis, is probably the culmination of everything I've written. When you've said it all, and I'm not saying I've said it all, but when you've put it all out there that I, I've been able to research and interview and everybody I know, etc., you've got to understand that they're using the three laws by a guy named Charles Pellegrino who penned the three laws of alien behavior. Now, I want people to understand that when we're using the word alien, we're also using the word supernatural evil behavior or government behavior. Here's his law number one. Their survival will be more important than our survival, okay? Law number two, wimps don't become top dogs. No species makes it to the top, and I'm quoting now, being passive. The species in charge of any given planet will be highly intelligent, alert, aggressive, and ruthless when necessary. And then the third law, the first two laws apply to us. I believe, Alex, in the supernatural nature of evil, which you just stated you do too. Something happened in New Mexico a couple of days ago, and I, I posted the story. I don't know if you saw it, but people said they had they got they got hit with a wave where they they lost all track of time, and it was something they could define. It was something they could articulate, and it was something they experienced. DARPA admits uh, in the Baltimore paper 14 years ago that they were quote testing mind control towers. That was in the newspaper. Absolutely. So I suggest to everyone, when you're carrying around your iPhone or whatever, Samsung phone, all the different phones, and you notice that the uh, cell towers, those are what have absolutely been utilized. And I believe there, there's a, if you will, they broadcast frequencies on what are called subharmonic carriers, and they can they can basically uh, put a person to sleep at a certain frequency range. New York Times admits the new light bulbs they over the power thing, they do a flicker to mind control you. Absolutely. So here's this. Xenogenesis is, I got to say this, it is the most important thing I've ever written. I've sold a lot of books over the years. This is about educating people. The point that they've got to understand is we are at where 20 years ago we said we would, we would not want to live at that time, but we're at that time right now. And
And xenogenesis means taking the human genome and adding a third uh, pair of chromosomes to it, whether it's animal, and when I use the word now, alien, or ancient. For instance, the Proca skulls, they just came out.